Hello beautiful Virgos, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot and we are looking at a traditional love reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what the energy is at the bottom of the deck, Virgo. We have the Ace of Swords. Well, you have great clarity. You received the truth about some hard work that you've been doing, something that you have fire in your belly for. A relationship looks like you're you're enjoying sort of the fruits of your labors here. You've thrown caution to the winds. Okay, let's take a look and see what the mutual energy is. Sorry about that. In the recent past between you and a loved one, loved interest. I do read this as a love reading, but it could be any relationship. The Two of Wands, you feel you're at a crossroads. A decision has to be made, and you really want more adventure. You want to travel the world. You want to take adventures in a, a van. You want a surfboard. But you know that you want to expand your life right now. We have the energy of the Emperor card. You and your person know that you're at a crossroads because that's mutual energy in the recent past. And the mutual energy currently is both of you are strategizing about, you know, like this big chess piece is here. How can you get to the goal? How can you get to the relationship that you want? How can you get into the energy of really having the kinds of activities and the freedom and the way that you'd like to live? How can you have that? So I really like the Emperor energy. Very strategic again with that chess piece. Very much bossing up. Very much wanting to have and seek and, and manifest your dreams on the material plane. Your person and how they view the relationship, well, they view the relationship as being fresh, young in love, feeling this sort of new beginning in love. They feel a lot of new love for themselves, but they also feel that you're open to them. The way they view you, Virgo, the strength card, Leo energy. So we do have air sign energy. We have Sagittarius. We have Sagittarius. We have Aries. We have um, the two of wands is also Aries. And then we have water sign energy. But I digress. The strength card means that your person sees you as a leader. They see you as uh, that is that energy of having the courage, the fire, the ability to withstand you're super strong that's how they see you the strength card is the infinity symbol i always feel this is an indicator that you've known this person through a more than one lifetime i love the strength card it, it is a card of bravery of courage even in the face of adversity how they feel in their heart space well they feel that they want to invest in this relationship that is Taurus energy they would like to have that lovely giving they do have patience for you also they have a lot of patience and um, they really like where the relationship is at at this time the way they view the situation unfolding the love relationship as it unfolds Virgo, your person sees you as a marriage prospect, that you might be a person that they could enjoy a future with. This is the Twin Flame card, 1111. But it is a traditional marriage card, the wedding tent, the bridesmaids, the celebration. It's about building a foundation. It's about buying a home together, a step, putting down roots, really invested in making the relationship grow, taking it to the next level. The energy mutual to both of you that is hidden right now is that there is some uncertainty. There's a feeling that they don't know something about you and you feel that you don't know something about them. This is spy energy. It's sneaking around energy. There may be something about your relationship. You may not have introduced one another to your significant others at this time. Um, but it is also the card of really being strategic with each other but secretive with each other keeping secrets you know trying to you want to win this love relationship at all cost but i'm not seeing other cards that bother me this can be a very troublesome card depending on what's around it what i see is two people who are trying to figure each other out and two people who really want to have a big win with this love 
spirit oh here we go though spirit is saying there's some toxic energy here so when we look at the devil card it's capricorn energy it's karma it's the somebody in this relationship spirit is saying that there's some sort of controlling energy going on here when we see the devil card in the rider way there are two people chained to each other and the devil but what we're seeing here is that spirit is saying that both of you are trying to sort of control the situation and that it's toxic and that that energy needs to be healed you know it needs to go away but boy is this overwhelmingly attractive it also says that spirit thinks you're obsessed with each other so you need to level out you know you both have this you have a beautiful relationship but you need to get rid of this energy here there needs to be more forthright honesty in the relationship and openness oh virgo energy virgo here you are in the reading as the outcome what we see is that you may be dealing with a Virgo Capricorn um, or the Aquarius energy. But both of you are staying very aloof, very aware, but you're highly invested. As we look at this week in love, we're seeing both of you trying to get to know each other better, understand each other, doing the work. You know, this is the, the card of wanting to become expert and knowing how to have a good relationship. The two of you are in a highly desirous mode of being successful. In fact, you're obsessed with the success of your relationship. So let's go ahead and clarify the cards here and see what's happening. Let's see, why do we have the Ace of Swords here? Spirit, why? Please clear and detailed messages for our Virgo friends and love. Let's see what we have. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Well, you have clarity. This is your person. You want that marriage. You want to go to that level. And this is the overall energy of the reading. You're both trying to figure out if you can really have a good life together. Uh, the Four of Wands, the Four of Wands, repeating energy, very significant. Always significant in a tarot reading when we get mirrored energy. So it does look like both of you are mirroring this energy, the desire for that stability. I like it. Four of Wands is powerful card. <gasps> Twin Flame. This is the number 22 in the tarot deck. It's a Naked Heart tarot deck. And that is 1111 Twin Flame. It's transformation. It is absolutely that Pluto energy of bringing you through lives, you know, Pluto energy is life and death with that butterfly. So we see that you have reincarnated into this life to come into union. And both of you want to throw caution to the winds. You want to give up the burdens of the past. You don't want to carry anything that feels burdensome with you. No resentment, no bad attitudes, just the willingness to throw caution to the winds, be playful and clever with each other, and you're willing to do the work. So pretty fantastic. Why are the two of wands here? Ah, you are at a crossroads about the potential for being a, a legacy married couple. This is till death do us part. It's the, the, this elephant is very symbolic. These are creatures that are very much clan oriented. And Virgo, that is your energy again. It, it's all about the two of you wanting to know if you can go to that level, wanting to make that choice with each other. It's mutual energy. That Ten of Coins is powerful. Movement of Cups, a romantic offer is made, and it could include eventually a ring. But both of you are offering up a very deep, very um, solid love to one another. Ten of Pentacles is love. And here comes the Ace of Coins. The Ace of Coins. Both of you really want to manifest this. The Ace of Coins to me is probably one of the best relationship energies in the deck because it's grounded energy. It's, you know, it's earth sign energy. It's manifesting on the mundane, you know, in the real world. So why else do we have the Ace of Coins here with that emperor? What is this? Okay. So it does look like somebody has walked away from something else to come into this relationship. So it, there has been a strategy that has been reached. Again, I think that there could be some secrecy here. 
we see that eight of cups with the that ace of coins so leaving one relationship to come into uh, making an offer with this one and the knight of cups is a romantic offer but this is a long-term offer this is more the energy of you know offering that ring making the request wanting to really find your ten of cups energy why did the eight of cups pop out okay the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth is coming out here your person has something to admit to you or tell you um, but this is mutual energy, so I don't feel it's something that's unknown. I do feel as though this has been possibly, for many of you, a relationship, not necessarily, um, you know, a secretive relationship, or one that you're definitely keeping under, under wraps until you know that you're going to be happy and satisfied together. So that energy, though, does look like one person left a situation and gave up a burden from the past to have this relationship. These cards just fell out. Look at this, a strength card again. You're mutually coming in with this very proud energy, walking side by side together, having the strength. The Six of Cups looks like you may have been apart for a while. You may have been spying on each other. The Six of Cups is a reunion. It's a new beginning in love. Scorpio energy, the unicorn again, uh, soulmate love of minor arcana. We get the page of coins, you know. It looks like your person uh, asks you out, says let's go do something. The moon card again, sort of under the cover of night. There's something that's hidden, but that is Pisces energy. And what we see here for you, Virgo, is your person really wants to know you better they feel as though there's a lot of um getting to know you energy that they're bringing to the table they're a little bit nervous you know it's sort of smoky trails they're not quite sure but it's okay you know it's we all have fears and uh, but you have the strength to overcome those fears so why do we have the strength card in the way they see you page of swords well they've been spying on you they know what you're up to they think that you're having a lot of success in your career they feel as though it's a good time in your life that it looks like some of them may have reconnected through the internet with you they may have found you online for some of you this will be someone that you haven't seen in years could be a childhood uh, favorite person old boyfriend old flame neighbor but somebody that you didn't expect to uh, you didn't see it coming perhaps all right we have temperance card that is a card of not only reconciliation but it's a card of alchemy it's really saying that whatever the obstacles are with the strength card sagittarius and leo that you have the ability to balance the scales to make it work to be happy in this this relationship is very significant. Both of you want this to work. You're both putting in the work and you're both willing to. Uh, you won't both want to reap the um, rewards of what you've put in. So we get the Termic card. So it does, Virgo, there you are again in your reading. So it does look like your person sees you for how hard working you are, how invested you are in your life. They see you as this empress energy. They see you as a manifestation or a person who manifests maybe objects of beauty or you create beauty in some way. You may work in the beauty industry. You may work in the industries that involve um, manifesting everything that's beautiful and sought after. You know, that could be anywhere from rem home remodeling to the uh, fashion industry or the beauty industry, but it is all about loving deeply, and we have divine coupledom, the empress and the emperor. So when we get the twin flame, twin flame, twin flame, it's a very, very intense energy of twin flame. So the two of you are meant to be in this lifetime together. And so we'll see if you can come into union here. We have the Ace of Swords. You have great clarity. Your person understands the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So your person sees a path forward, is being very honest with each other, very uh, clear with each other. Six of Wands, winner, winner, chicken dinner. That is a victory with Leo energy. So that is when you become a public couple. So it does look like 
you will have your person really sees the two of you and that can be an engagement card and we saw that ace of coins so but this would be like um you know when you introduce each other to your friends it's being in the limelight being in the spotlight being celebrated at a community level or among your friends and family it looks like a very powerful successful connection and so let's see what the seven of swords is about we have the innocence of cups so both of you have something that really wounded you in the past i feel as though you're very defensive you're both very um you've had something in your childhood that brings about that page of cups you you love very deeply but there's a fear in that love a fear of getting hurt a fear that somebody could take advantage of you hierophant card you may have also both been married and had a failed marriage because what we see here is that somebody left someone for you and and or vice versa could be the other way around but we're seeing two people who are hiding the fact that they would love to be married to each other really sort of playing it down oh we're just pages over here two kids playing around and the truth of the matter is you have profound connection the hierophant very traditional love card it is a marriage ceremony typically lots of energy here we have the spirit of pentacles okay so when we get the spirit of pentacles that's taurus energy it's all the second house of money when we look at the devil card it can be work somebody may be uh, toxically obsessed with money or success or the accoutrement or security even you know and so when we look at that Taurus energy and the Capricorn energy your ability to mitigate this as a Virgo is powerful but it does indicate that there may be you may need time to play more there, you may need time to see if the two of you are truly joyful when you're with each other, not working. The two of you, I think, ha have a high likelihood of having met through a work situation, collaboration, or project. But I'm seeing that to make sure that you can enjoy this happiness and joyfulness and playfulness is going to be part of the journey that you're on right now. You know, you can really work together. You can put your nose, nose to the grindstone. You can save money. But how do you share resources and how do you have fun? So I love that energy, though, because it really mitigates this devil energy. It says that there is an obsession with success. You do want to be the power couple because we have the ten of coins. So that is going to be a part of the path if you follow the current path that you're on with this person i said collaboration there we go so you may have met again this person through a project and we have the heart of pentacles now we have the queen and king of pentacles and this is this is the energy of capricorn capricorn so what i'm seeing here with this devil energy is it's really not so bad you know both of you are really you share values you really, you know, you feel very strongly. The two of you could collaborate extremely well, uh, artistically, emotionally, but that is a stunning reading, Virgo. Stunning. Let's see what we have for the Sacred Forest Oracle. What's going to happen in this relationship? What is going to happen in this relationship? What are the energies that are going to come out at this time? Hummingbird spirit joy. Remember I said the two of you have to be able to have this lighthearted energy, this very powerful joyfulness in this relationship. Bluebell fairy gratitude. Oh, grateful for everything that you have together and that you will have together. And this just flipped over crystal cave trust so in the past you might not have been able to trust it looks like both of you had some fear coming into the relationship that is absolutely incredible reading virgo sending you love and light from chicago tell me where you're from send some love back thank you bye-bye